anyone who shies away from Stratocasters because they're too thin or too bright sounding? Or are you a Strat owner that loves every pickup position except the bridge pickup? Well, in this video, I wanna show you this little device that I think will change your mind about Strats. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, Marjorie Ron Kilio. If you're new here, thanks for joining me. Okay, Strats might just be the most polarizing guitar model in the entire guitar community. You either love them or you hate them. And chances are, if you hate them, part of the reason might be the tone. Compared to its humbucker-loaded counterparts like Les Pauls, sure, Strats can sound a bit thinner and brighter depending on your pickups and electronics. I myself am a proud Stratoholic. I love Strats. My first guitar was a Strat. And I've learned to love the sound and everything that goes with the design. But I do understand the reason why some players don't necessarily gel with them. And as someone who owns several Strats, many times I personally find myself favoring all of the pickup positions except for the bridge pickup because sometimes it sounds too bright. I mean, I've owned a vintage 70s Strat where the bridge pickup was basically unusable. It was so bright. Sure, you can hunt down a particular aftermarket Strat pickup that specifically rolls off the harshest of highs, but I think I found a more interesting solution with some extra bonuses. Recently, I bought a little device called the King Tone Switch. Now, you may have heard of King Tone or seen their pedals on my channel. It's the same King Tone, Jesse Davey, that makes the Duelist pedal and my favorite Germanium Fuzz, as well as my favorite octave pedal, the Octoland. The switch is a six position rotary pot that you install in place of your lower tone control on the Strat. And what it does is essentially dial in the amount of bite or warmth to whatever pickup position you're on. It's also an instant treble bleed circuit, allowing you to retain your highs when you roll down the volume knob. So I installed it really easily on my favorite Strat, the Sen Fullerton. So it's just a matter of removing the bottom tone pot and soldering three wires from the King Tone switch. And just a disclaimer, for my situation, I had to solder in an extra ground wire because of my existing wiring configuration. But if you have a basic stock Strat wiring, it's super easy. All the directions and the tutorial videos are on the website. And many of you know that I love these pickups in my Sen just the way that they are. So this is a custom Lawler set. It's basically a 64 in the neck and a special in the middle and a special in the bridge. But I have to tell you, as soon as I wired in the King Tone switch, it really did open up the available tonal palette. And I'll show you how it works and let you listen for yourself. So real quick about the switch, there are four tiny dip switches that you can further tweak for a total of 16 different treble bleed settings. Now I personally haven't touched them yet. I'm quite happy with the stock settings. They also make an SRV version of the switch, which is more tuned to specific Stevie Ray Vaughan type tones from his different eras. And just so you know, both models are about $100 US and apparently they work with tellies and humbucker guitars, which I might try in the future. So let's hear some of the tones. Okay, starting with position one, this is the true bypass mode, which this basically just makes your guitar operate the way it's supposed to be. So here is the bridge pickup. <laughs> Nice and bright and present, right? Now position two would be the treble bleed engage. Now treble bleed allows you to re retain the highs when you roll down uh, your volume knob. So let me demonstrate in true bypass mode first. So when I roll down the volume knob, see how it, you lose some of those highs. So in this position where I'm probably like, maybe halfway down on the volume knob. Listen to how the uh, treble bleed sounds with it. So you can see that the highs are retained. Let me just go back and forth. So here is the treble bleed. Here's bypassed. So you can definitely hear the highs on the neck pickup. I like this a lot. 
because it gets really muddy when you roll off the volume. But with the treble bleed engaged, you still get a little bit of that upper, uh, mid, upper highs. Add a little bit of drive. Bypass. Treble bleed. Let's add a little more gain. Here's the treble bleed. Now you might hear it, the gain jump a little bit, but that's actually just the, the highs uh, sticking around. So the treble bleed works great. The fact that it's switchable is awesome because uh, sometimes, like if I'm using a fuzz pedal, I want the guitar signal pure and uh, untouched by the treble bleed. So it's great to have that option. In fact, let's try it. So with regards to fuzz, right now I'm going through a Dunlop uh, fuzz face. It's the uh, Eric Johnson signature model. So here is my bridge pickup. Um, true bypassed. Now when I roll off the volume knob, it'll clean up just a little bit. And that sounds great. Now if I had the treble bleed engaged, it wouldn't clean up just as good, you know? That cleans up nicely. So sometimes you want the treble bleed, sometimes you don't want the treble bleed. So here I am on the neck pickup. Roll it off. Now if I had the treble bleed, it would still sound a little bit fuzzy. So moving on to position three, this is what they're calling the Hendrix Edge Added mode. Basically it rolls off some of the highs. So here, uh, here's how it sounds, uh, true bypass. And there's position three. Bypass. Very stratty, very kind of bright. A little more uh, tolerable if you're sensitive to the bright sound of a strat. And really, it kind of mimics, uh, to, my, to my ears at least, it kind of mimics the sound of having a longer cable or a big coily cable that tends to roll off the highs automatically. Personally, I think it works great if you've got like a lead sound, uh, if you're working with like say the middle position or the, the bridge position and it's still sounding a little too bright, sometimes I'll, I'll hit it with uh, position three and it's just got this really nice warm sound. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so now moving on to positions four, five, and six. Basically, uh, it gets a little bit warmer, I would say. Not necessarily darker, but just a little bit warmer. It's almost like having preset uh, EQ patterns on each of these uh, next couple presets, or positions, I should say. So let me just show you how it sounds on the bridge pickup, starting uh, with the true bypass, and then I'll move on to position three, four, five, and six. So the way that uh, King Tone is describing it, position three was kind of the Hendrix setting. Position four, they're calling 100% Stevie Ray Vaughan, tubey bite, lots of attack, fat and warm. Position five would be kind of like an Albert King. And lastly, position six is more like BB King, thick, but still has a little bit of presence on the top end. Let me play on the neck pickup now and show you the range of the uh, switch. So here we are starting on two bypass. Now remember position two is basically the same thing with just the treble bleed circuit engaged. So you don't really hear any difference until you roll off your volume knob. So it's essentially the same thing, but watch when I roll down on my volume knob. are back. So position three is kind of the Hendrixy thing now. A little warmer. Position four. bypass. What else can I say about this thing? It's basically transformed my Strat into an even better Strat. Uh, I'm considering putting this switch in all of my Strats. Uh, maybe I'll even get the SRV one just to uh, kind of AB both of them. Listen how cool it sounds with a little bit of high gain. <laughs> It almost sounds kind of like Brian Mayish. So 
here it is bypassed. Sounds like a strat, right? This sounds like Brian May. I mean, those licks don't sound like Brian May, but you get the idea. Kind of also has kind of like a cocked wah type of vibe. Not so extreme with, you know, like a wah, but... Depending on how much amount of gain you have in your sound, you can hear it kind of cocked wah, kind of like um, a treble booster, like a range master treble booster as well. Because it does something in the mid range. Dig it. Okay guys, there you have it. That was the King Tone Switch. If you want more information and links to buy, I'll put it down in the description. But definitely check it out if you want something different for your Strat sound. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, click that thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, gear demos or guitar lessons, click the subscribe button. Thanks again for watching, I'm RJ Ronquillo, and I'll see you in the next video.